Hello and welcome to the most expensive and the most exclusive gun also known as Rotator Grease Gun. If you haven't watched the stream on the day of the release of the gun, the short of it is a very expensive MP40. It costs 2.9 million credits and 9200 gold. So if your eyes haven't watered yet, well, there is another way of getting it. It can be bought via Million Pugs site, if you are from NA that is. You heard that right, Rita has a sponsor for one of the least populated time zones. But back to the topic at hand, why do I refer to the gun as an expensive MP40 you might ask? As your second question? Well that's because Rita thought that copy pasting the PPS-43 was not enough, and we need another gun like it. The good part is that the other factions can also get it. The repair costs are pretty much in line with the MP40. The gun itself is 0.12 credits per shot and other mods are pretty much the same like every other SMG in the game. However, rarely enough, the Australian gun is using the 9mm Parabellum rounds like the MP40. And as you might have guessed already, it basically costs the same. The handling is pretty much the same as aforementioned SMG, it's almost like I can say that you should watch the MP40 guide and be done with it. Annoyingly, that one is somehow the one SMG that I have yet to do. As such, I would recommend running the lightning bolt, field trigger drop and field adjust aside for best results. Anyway, the TTK for my recommended build sits on an average of 184 milliseconds. And it one taps the head, which is nice. And if your opponent is wearing heavy set, it takes additional bullet to kill to arms, legs and hands. If you are however worried that this will lose you a lot of fights, you can of course use the highest boot damage bullet, which nullifies that and makes the arm shots more consistently take less shots throughout the body. The only real difference here between the MP40 is the additional bullet and weird looking sight. For badges my recommendation would be either pointer quick fire or fast reload, although if you want to run fast health recovery, that is also a very solid option, since the reload is not massively long and the magazine size of 33 should be enough at least in CQC. Additionally I feel like this gun really shines within CQC and if I had to rate it in the tier list it would probably go between an MP40 and a PPS 43, as the bullet velocity seems not to be higher than the PPS which quite frankly is a shame. Another great thing is the field maintenance, even modded is actually pretty low. Also did I mention it's green? Ish? Alright since I need my YouTube sense I will leave you with some gameplay of the gun, so enjoy. <laughs> 